you are rules of exponents. And the rule of exponents states that if you have a variable raised to a power raised to another power, that is equal to x to the m times n. The other kind of rules, if you guys remember, like x to the m times x to the n, that equals x to the m plus n. Um, x to divided, oh, let's do, let's do it this way. We're going to be going over a lot of these, but I figured I might as well just kind of go over some of the basic ones. So that's just kind of your overall, just a quick little review of rules of exponents. So obviously you know that in this case, you can see that we have a exponent being raised to another power. So therefore, that's going to be the product of our two fractions, which when we're multiplying fractions, we multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So we have um, 7 raised to the seven, 12 over 72. And um, 72 does not divide into 12. However, we have um, a common number um, in the numerator and denominator. Basically, I can divide 12 out of a 12 and 12 out of 72, which leaves me with 7 to the 6th power, which I guess I could evaluate if anybody has a calculator of 7 to the 6th power. Does anybody have 7 to the 6th? Huh? Oh, it is 1 6. You're very right. Thank you. Yes, that's absolutely correct. 7 to the 1 6. Now, there's actually another thing that we should um, note. We usually don't write 1 7 to the 1 6. Thank you very much. But there's another um, rule of uh, exponents, if you guys remember rational powers. Again, if you guys don't remember this stuff, it's OK. We're going to be going back through it. But if you have an exponent um, uh, with a rational power, that can be rewrite as a root, be rewritten as a root of the nth root of x to the m. So here I can rewrite this as the sixth root of 7 to the first power. Okay, I didn't express I wanted it to be written as a radical, but that is something that you guys should um, be aware of.